Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, hey, folks, I played a new series, Beans, I'm a new for the wine. I go over there, try food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, eh, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed in that snap. Let's see if we can't remedy that. Eh, it's a little bit better. I just, not too long ago, I went over there, I took a shower, so I got all the grime off of me. I don't have the same level of friction I normally do. But anyway, uh, folks, super simple format. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. And I'm going to go over there while I'm talking about things. Probably going to interject some stuff here and there. Try to keep it light, keep it humorous. Doesn't always go that way. Sometimes we get into heavy topic matter, but you know, that's, you never know. That's, that's one of the benefits of the sampler platter, I like to think, you know, is that you never know exactly what you're going to get. I mean, I'm going to review some stuff, but anyway, uh, I'm out in my truck at the time I'm doing this. It's a little bit hot, so I got my air conditioner on. Hopefully it doesn't get picked up too bad by the phone that I'm recording this on. Uh, on top of that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight super cool shirt. Super cool shirt I'm wearing today. Boom! It's my Wargasm shirt. If you are not familiar with the band Wargasm, that is not entirely surprising. Uh, you know, but they've, they've been doing their stuff for a bit. They're a duo, I think, for the most part. Uh, but I actually got to see them perform uh, uh, several weeks back at the time I'm doing this now. Uh, they were on tour with Bloody Wood. They were absolutely fantastic. I loved their stuff. As soon as I got off the stage, I went out and bought the shirt. And I went over there and got a CD. I even got my CD signed by one of said duo. Um, if you're interested, I actually have recordings of that performance on this channel. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, folks, this is the first for the for the program because we're doing something from Boom! From Smashburger. Specifically, the, and we're going to pull that out of there. This is their Double Classic Smashburger. It is two Angus beef patties with American cheese, lettuce, tomato, red onions, pickles, smash sauce, ketchup, on a toasted bun. Now here's the thing. I'm going to say this right now. This costs too much. Unless this burger really blows me away, this was too much. Like, it wasn't obscene, but it was like, for the amount that I spent between this and one other burger that I'm going to review after this, too much. Too much. But, to be fair, you know, we're, we're going to give it a fair shot, you know. But I figured I'd start off classic because I've never been to Smashburger. Like, because the problem that I run into with Smashburger, for one, they're not that around me. Um, I only did this one because I happen to be out in this area for other reasons. But the problem I run into with them is, like, I love a burger. Y'all know I love a burger. Typically speaking, either I go lower end and I just do, like, basic fast food, or I go higher end and I go to, like, you know, artisanal burger places. Smash Burger's, like, somewhere in the middle, you know? Like, they're not exactly artisanal, but they kind of try to be, but they're not exactly so... Um, so yeah, this is going to be my first time with, with the Smash Burger. I figure I'll try the classic first because, you know, it's a classic burger. That's what you do. So let's get this thing open the fuck up. All right. Well, I mean, I'll say this. That's, that's not a bad looking burger. So, you know, points right there. Now, I got it with everything on it because... Typically, that's what I try to do with these reviews, so that hopefully I'm giving an authentic, uh, you know, interpretation. I am not an onions or pickles guy. I kind of feel, especially on burgers, I feel like they are really just, they're put on there almost obligatorily, which I don't think is a word, but I, I went with it. But I am going to try it with the pickles and the, the onions for the first shot, and most likely going to remove them for the second. So let's give it a go. Let's see how it is. Mm. 
you know what? I'll say this. That's not a bad burger. Like, not at all. Even with the onions and pickle. Um, it's not too bad. I can actually kind of get down with it. I mean, is it anything super holy shit crazy? No. But, it is a good classic style burger. Like, it's, you know, it's doing everything that a classic style burger should do. The ingredients taste good. Everything tastes fresh. Even with everything on it, you're still tasting the beef. I will say, I do think this needs to be a double. I think a, I think a single would probably get lost with everything. Trying to pick out the the smash sauce because like everything else is you know stuff I've had a million times on a burger. Smash sauce. I'm guessing it's something similar to fry sauce. Hmm. I mean, there's like a tanginess to it. Um, yeah, I mean, okay. Okay. I, I'm going to give it to that burger. It is by no stretch of the imagination the best burger I've ever had. But, if we're talking sort of like, you know, like, here's the middle line, it's on the upper side of things, of that line. Uh, it's not, you know, and it, it kind of falls under basically what I was saying, where it's like, Dr. Pepper. Like, it's not as good as, like, a proper artisanal burger, but I can see it being good for, like, people who want that middle-range stuff, because, like, the artisanal stuff isn't for everybody. You know, it's like, it's it's definitely more of a me type of thing, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, and I mean, the virtues of a solid, just classic-style burger cannot be overstated. Like, I really believe that. As much as I love, like, wacky burgers and burgers with, you know, all kinds of crazy-ass ingredients and styles and stuff and prepared in all these ways, I mean, I love that stuff. It's part of why I do the show. But a classic burger done well is fundamentally at the core of pretty much everything that I enjoy eating. Like, it's, you know, it's beef, it's cheese... It's a bun, and then, you know, you kind of, you know, you toss on your extra stuff. It's versatile while still having that classic element to it. And, yeah, Smash Burger did a good job with it, man. That's a good classic-style burger. I have had far worse burgers than that and paid more money for it. So, you know what? I am going to retract my statement, I think, for what you get. That's, you know, maybe a little on the higher end, but, like, but it's it, it's pretty reasonable. Like, I'm willing to give it to it. So, I mean, two questions have to be asked, folks. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes, asterisk, and yeah. So, for myself, it does still run into the problem where it's, like, I just don't, know that like I have a lot of reason to go to a smash burger especially when at the time I'm doing this the smash burger that I'm by is literally I mean it's it's damn near within pissing distance of an artisanal burger place that I like to go a place called Kuma's Corner where I've, I've reviewed a few things of theirs so typically if I'm out this way and I want a burger I'm just gonna go there but that's the thing like if I was going to go to Smash Burger, I would probably get this one again because I do enjoy this one. I think it's really solid. And there's times when you just want a classic fucking cheeseburger. So, and as for recommending it to other people, yeah, I think that it's definitely worth giving a go. Like, if you're somebody who you're used to just the classic fast food burgers, this is a step up for sure. It You can taste the quality. You can taste, you know, the fact that it's been prepared properly. I will give them that 
in full regards. It does cost a little bit more, especially since you don't get any fries or anything. If, they, if they'd added in fries, I'd have been 100% willing to give it to them. But, um, but yeah, man, it's, you know, if you're somebody like me who you're, you're already, you know, a burger adventurer, yeah, I don't think you really need to tag this one in, but it, it's not a bad entry. Anyway, uh, final, th yeah, five final thing, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of week, mighty mentor rest of the month, this rest of your year, and folks, you can go in there and have yourselves a truly classic cheeseburger-tastic rest of your life, because like I said, folks, that's just quality. That's just quality. That's America right there. It's America. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but what you do, can't do all the time. I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always easy to not be an asshole, you know? I've been over there all fucking day, man. I got out of work. I did a quick review. Then I went over there and spent three hours doing fucking yard work. Because I had to get the yard work done, and it was like, I gotta get it done, and I know I'm not gonna do it on my days off. Because once I'm on my days off, I ain't doing shit. You know, and then I came out, and I was looking for some stuff, and you know, I drove out this way. Didn't find the stuff I was looking for, you know, so it's been an up and down day. And that's the thing. We're going to run into those situations. They're going to be frustrating, stressful, what have you. It's important when we run into those situations. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholes in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try yourself out, uh, you know, some burger spot that you haven't been to. You know, it doesn't have to be fucking smash burger. It can just be whatever place. If you enjoy burgers... You know, there's always trend, always places to try. Hell, maybe I'll do like just a full burger series because I could, I could definitely do that. Ain't no two ways I couldn't do that. Maybe you're gonna try it out. Maybe it's gonna be better than you ever expected. Then you're gonna go over there and you're gonna be like, well, you know what? This is fantastic. I need your recipe. I need to make these burgers at home. And they're like, well, that doesn't really work that way because it's like a franchise thing. But you're over there and you're like, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna get in on the down low. I'm gonna get hired as a cook. Then you learn it. Then, once you've got it down, you quit, but you're going to put in your two weeks notice because you're not a dick bag like that. Then you go over there and you make the food at home, and now you don't even have to go over there and you know, go to that place. But you still should, you know, you know patron your uh, uh, your local spots. Or conversely, just get a burger from wherever the fuck you want, man. We live in a great time for burgers, and there's a lot of really good ones out there. Bye!